do you see her getting an NBA head coaching job? I do, Skip, but it's going to have to be an owner that's bold and very visionary. Yeah. Now, as these younger owners are coming in, I think there's more likely to be one of them. Now, the only owner that's currently in the NBA that I believe has the moxie and the vision to do this would be Mark Cuban. But he's very happy with Rick Carlisle. Yep. And Rick Carlisle is a very a, a damn good coach. Mm -hmm. But Mark Cuban, I can see Mark Cuban doing something like this. The question is, Skip, who's going to be the branch Ricky? Who's going to let them be, let let Becky Hammond be the Jackie Robinson? Mm -hmm. Because you're going to get some criticism, Skip. I mean, just with anything, because you know, we're, man, women ain't got no business coaching no man. What she know about basketball? Mm -hmm. She she ain't playing the NBA, Skip. You know how it is. Yep. So who's going to be bold enough? I said, man, I don't, I don't care what the fans say. I don't care how it looked. I believe with her resume and the amount of time that she spent on the sideline and the amount of time she spent around Greg Popovich mm -hmm. coaching and being in meetings and sitting in on those situations, I believe she's ready to lead a team. Uh, and so it's just going to take that person that who is going to be Branch Ricky Skip. Who's going to give her that opportunity? But I, I believe she's qualified. And I think... Could she get a, 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 a head job at college? Sure she could. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she's been called numerous times, Skip, to get women's jobs. She has. I don't know. Florida was the latest that offered the women's job. Yeah. She's her her alma mater, Colorado State, offered her the men's, men's job. job, and she turned it down because she wants was to be an NBA. NBA head coach. Skip, because that's, you know what? Okay, she, let's just say she takes the job at Colorado State. That's a great, oh, she's the first woman to be a head coach at a major university in college. They don't have the same ring mm -hmm. and cachet. No. She's the first NBA female mm -hmm. head coach. And I believe she's very deserving. I believe she's going to get an opportunity. Um, how Is, is it going to be the opportunity in San, in San Antonio? How much longer is Pop going to be on, 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 on the chair? I don't know, Skip, but I do believe she's going to get an opportunity. But it's going to take somebody bold. It's going to take somebody with moxie because... Although you and I and how we see things, everybody don't see things the way we see things. And so it's going to have to be an owner that probably some of his fan base is not going to take kindly to that. Because, Skip, it's, it's, you get used to what you're used to seeing. You've always seen men coach men. And for the most part, you've always saw, see women coach women. Now you see a lot, of more, a lot more men coach women college basketball. But this is what – so I, I believe she gets an opportunity – I hope she gets her opportunity. She seems to know what she's talking about. Hey, you like, hey, pick up the pace, and she was calling out sets. I'm yep. like, okay, Becky, do your thing. Let me tell you how much I believe in Becky Hammond being a head coach in this league. A year ago, as you recall, Tim Duncan tried being an assistant coach <laughs> for Greg Popovich. <laughs> it's hard. It's a lot of travel. It's a lot of hours. It's a lot of film study. It's a lot of coaches' meetings. It's Pop a lot said, of drudgery. Well, what did Pop say about Dougie? Yeah, I didn't think it's going to be a long term. No. I didn't think it was long term in his future. <laughs> okay, but one night last season, Pop got tossed. Yeah. And I was outraged because he turned and nodded to the Timmy. rookie assistant coach on the bench, Tim Timmy. Duncan. You Timmy, got you it. got it. No, you don't got it. She's got it. She's got tenure over you. Now she's in her seventh season as an assistant coach for Greg Popovich. And obviously he has been a pipeline of assistants going to head coaching jobs. Yes. If, if you observe her closely, you know she has presence about her. Mm -hmm. She has a command to her. She has a stature about her because she exudes a confident feel for basketball that won over all those players mm -hmm. immediately. The one I was most skeptical of was Tony Parker. She played point guard at the highest level in the WNBA. Yep. Six-time All-Star. The New York Liberty, her number retired into the Ring of Honor. And then as a San Antonio Spur, her jersey was retired number 25. Mm -hmm. So it's eight years in New York, eight years for San Antonio Stars. Stars. And... What was she as a point guard? She was obviously smart. Mm -hmm. She was a leader, and she was tough, physically and mentally tough, and she competed at the highest level, mm -hmm. Olympics and in WNBA. Yep. And right away, Tony Parker was in awe of her. Mm -hmm. And she spent a year when she was hurt helping out there, and Tony just gravitated to her because he he liked her, her view of it, her 
her vision of how to play point guard right. and what worked and what doesn't. As, as Pop always says, she has a knack for what works and what does not work. Skip, the thing is, talking to Tony Dungeon, I had him on my podcast, and he yep. said, and I asked him about coaching Peyton Manning. He says, Peyton is really easy to coach, but he's very difficult to coach. He says, he wants you to help him become better. He wants to be great. The problem is his expectations. The players, can you help me become great? But you have to temper their expectations because, bro, bro hold on now. We, we, we can't do all this in one day. But over time, as you said, the amount of time that she spent in San Antonio, and she and they were like, hold on. She was here with Tim Duncan. They went to, Tim Duncan and, and Tony Parker and Manu and Kawhi. She already got credibility. Mm. She got credit. Any, any, anybody that comes in there, because it's hard for you to be better than what they were. I got it. You're right. <laughs> okay, so Greg Popovich said many times publicly, the day Tim Duncan walks out that door, I'll be walking right behind right. him. Uh, boy, that was four years ago. <laughs> and guess who's still head coach? <laughs> So I don't. He's 72 next I month, know, I got it. I got it. But I don't know. I think in his heart of hearts, he's thinking, and if I quit, I would do what? Exactly. Drink wine? Yeah. No, I don't know. So I think he still loves it. I, I think he's still on fire to do it. And I'm not sure he's going to go anytime soon. I don't either. They have another bright, young, obviously male assistant on staff named Will Hardy. And, and the insiders all tell me he's the next Budenholzer, obviously right. the coach of the Bucks. Because you think, you look at you mentioned okay. Pop Street, Skip, Budenholzer. Yep. Brett Brown was in Philly yep. for a number of years. Jim Brolin, mm -hmm. Jack, uh, uh, Taylor Jenkins in yep. Memphis, mm -hmm. and uh, James Borrega. I think, yeah, I think that's in Charlotte. Charlotte. Yep. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, he's doing well. They, they wiped out Dallas. They use him. And Melo. Melo. LaMelo's starting to... Bello started to pop. Yeah. Okay. So the point is that Will Hardy's got next as far as somebody's going to come and snatch him up right. who needs a head coach right. elsewhere. But to your point, to me, Becky is still perfectly positioned to to follow Pop. Right. And I think R.C. Buford really ha has the the highest respect for her, and he loves Will Hardy too. Right. So to me. The, the best move would be for her to hang in and hang on right. until he finally says that's enough. I don't know when that's going to be, and I'm not sure it's going to be anytime soon. I, but the time is feeling righter and righter to have a female head coach in this league. Because what do I see? I, and I watch NBA like crazy. seems like every game I turn on, I see a female referee. Yep, yep, yep. It's I see great. a lot of them. Yeah, I see a it's lot a, more. It's, a whole, yep. it's a, like a new movement. Yep. Thanks to our commissioner right mm -hmm. now, he's saying more, more, more. Mm -hmm. Let's even it up. Yep. And again, the more female refs there are, the more respect they will garner, yep. and and the more that it, it'll seem commonplace to have a female in a power position yep. during an NBA yeah, game. Yeah, for the longest time, Skip, it was just two. I I, I can't remember the uh, the uh, the black female, but I know D. Cantor mm -hmm. was one the, the white female. So it was for the longest time. Yep. And like you said, now I see three, four, uh, three or four of them. And I think they just elevated another one uh, mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago. Skip, yep. I believe it's probably going to have to be there. I, I, I agree with you. I believe she's going to have to secede pop because I don't know if these the, the owners are like, they Skip, they're old school. And they, they've been doing it, you know, they hire according to like, okay, you just hire this guy right. because he they fits the profile. I got so it. So I, I believe it's going to be a situation like this. And sometimes, and, and if I'm pop, I would leave a year earlier. If you look at the way Coach Smith did it in, in North Carolina, Skip, he left the cupboard for uh, uh, Bill Guthrie mm -hmm. to have something. Tony Dungy left uh, uh, the Indy mm -hmm. so Jim Caldwell could have something. He did. Don't let the cupboard get totally bare so yep. she doesn't really have a chance to succeed. That's a good and point. they can say, I, I told you she should have never got the job anyway. Okay, she is now in the pop pipeline. It's pipeline. Officially, yeah. I like Popline. Pop. <laughs> but, but the point is, in 2017, she interviewed mm -hmm. for the Bucks GM job. Right. Well, I want to see her be a head coach, right. but that's fine too. But then remember, just a few months back in October, she interviewed for the Indiana coaching, the head coaching vacancy. Right. So you know how it works in the NFL. Once you get in the pipeline, yeah. you, your your name's out there, and owners start thinking, well. Yeah, I didn't hire, but she was a great interview. Yeah, okay. she she really knows yeah. her stuff, and you know that word. Well, you know, well, it's almost like the Rooney Rule, right. For minority coaches right. in football, has to start working for the female to get the head right. job in right in basketball, right? Yep. Okay, so she just needs interviews to get her name out there and her presence out there. 
and she is highly capable. Now let's see if somebody has the guts. That's what it's going to yeah. take. Skip. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.